the only self-proclaimed Belgium stout and considered to be a world classic. It's Bear O'Clock and from the Brasserie des Legions we have a bottle of the Hercule Stout coming in at 9% ABV. Now, this is the only self-proclaimed Belgium Stout. And it's named after Hercule Proro, the famous detective, because he was actually born in Elazelles on April the 1st, 1850. And the brewery is in Elazelles. <laughs> So that's why they've called it the Hercule. So let's get this into a glass. Look at this fantastic bottle with a with a pop top on it. So uh, expect some smoke and a bit of a bang. So let's open it up. There we go. There's a little bit, a little bit of smoke there. Let's get it into a glass. I've actually been looking forward to this beer. I actually reckon this is a, this is a world classic stout. So uh, this is going to be interesting. So in the glass, well. It looks like a stout. It looks like a very good stout. Um, it's very stout-like. It's a, it's a dark black colour. I'm looking through the light. Ah, there's no readiness to this stout. It is typical dark brown, dark black. You can't really see through it. It's got a lovely one finger, tight white foam head. Let's get the aroma. Caramel and chocolate is what I'm getting. I'll get, I'll tell you what I'm getting from it as well. Well, that's the alcohol, because it's 9%. I'm getting sort of like a, like a whiskey note to it, but that might just be the alcohol. It's, I'm getting caramel, chocolate, it's this whiskey note, it's like a sort of oak, oaky type whiskey, little bit of licorice. Yeah, so you're basically looking at sort of caramel, chocolate, I think it's the alcohol content that's giving that sort of oaky whiskey aroma. It smells really good. The licorice at the back end. So let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. This is a beer that's developing. First things first, I'm gonna say about this beer. It doesn't even feel like you're drinking a 9% beer. I'm gonna tell you this now. It's 
quite sour at the beginning. And then it just develops. You're getting coffee notes as it develops. Rich coffee. Vanilla. But the first sip, it's got a sadness to it, like, like a lambic. Now here's the sadness. Very, very sour. My mouth is very, very sour. And now I'm tending to get a sweetness try to, to to break into the sadness, which is now done. Now I'm getting these these coffee undertones starting to develop. It's getting sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. And it's quite a, it's a sweet dry finish to it. This is a banging stout. It really is good. Um, very, very complex. Very, very well balanced. Sour, the light bitterness. When that coffee kicks in, it's a bit more sweeter. I'd say the back end, the sweetness on the back end is I do get a little bit of licorice. It's very, very Moorish. Very, very good. I've seen this around Belgium for years in bottle shops and that, and I've never really, um, I've seen it on menus, and I've never ever really sort of jumped out at me to sort of, to get it, because it's always been the summer. Um, you know, you're not going to drink one of these on a, on a boiling hot day in July, are you? You know what I mean? Um, or in May, when I've been, you know, whenever I've visited Bruges, it's always seemed to be boiling hot. Um, so something I've sort of not had just due to the, the weather being like it is. But I've got to tell you what, this is a banging beer. It's complex, it's well made. It's, it grows on you. It grows on you to how good this beer is. You know, I'm gonna say it, you know, this, in my opinion, this is, this is a six out of five all day long. It's that good. Um, this is a beer you have got to try before you die. It really has surprised me. It sort of took me away a little bit how good this beer is. You know, don't get me wrong, there's not, maybe not as much happening in this stout as what you might get in a lot of stouts. You know, some of these, um, you know, like a, a Bourbon County, as an example, there's a lot going on, they're complex. This is complex its own little way, and its own little sort of Belgium style of complexity. You know, where it starts off sour, and then goes, you know, lightly bitter, then into the sweetness, and then at the dry back end. You know, this is, this is very, very Belgium um, in, its, 
it's a quite a unique sort of stout. Um, my opinion is get hold of a bottle of this. Get hold of a bottle. Try it. It's a beer you've got to try before you die. Leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.